Hey guys, this is Eric Moore with AnimationTrainer.com and CartoonLearning.com and this is part two of my review of the new Anime Studio 9 software. Now, if you've ever wanted to get into making your own cartoons, make sure you watch this video all the way through because I've got a really cool announcement that you're going to like. So without further ado, let's get into this review. Okay, if you watched the first part of my review, you remember where I left off, and that's with the problem that most software has. And that's when we bend this elbow joint, these vector lines don't exactly line up, and this is a problem. This doesn't look normal. So, with Anime Studio 9, there's this introduction of the new smart bones, and they are awesome. This feature alone makes the software worth buying. If you and it, I should say it's only available for the pro version. So if you've ever wanted to upgrade, now's the time. I'll come right out and say this. I'm pretty sure Toon Boom Animate Pro is the industry standard software for animation. However, that being said, you know, Anime Studio has gained a lot of ground over the years. I know some studios are starting to use this software. But this feature alone, these smart bones, I think you're going to put it way ahead of its competition. I don't, I don't think there's any other software that's going to touch it now. So let me show you what you can do with the smart bones. Okay, here's an arm ring that I created with the new smart bones. And you'll notice that I no longer have a problem with the bump in the elbow. In fact, there's a lot of things about this arm that look way more realistic. And the reason is... Now, when you create a bone, you can tie vector points and the animation of the vector points to the bone. So as this bone moves, I can change the crease of the points. I can change the location of the points. I can change all these things that really make it more realistic. Now, the cool thing is that means I'm not just limited to the points in the elbow, but I can make the muscles bulge if I want. And the really cool thing is, it's extremely easy to use these. When you create a bone, they give it a name. All you have to do is come up here to your Smart Bones tab and name it the same thing, and it's just like creating a blend more for an action. So it's really simple. I'll try and post a tutorial on that later, but I just want to give you a brief overview. All right, let me show you something else you can do with the Smart Bones. All right, here's an eye rig that I created and basically each bone just controls something else so like by rotating this bone I can close the eyelids this one brings the pupils closer farther apart dilate them constrict them left right up, down, and of course you can blend any of these together. So that's just an example of something else you can do. Now you could take this one step further and do a complete head turn and that just makes this really cool. That's why I love this feature. It opens up so many possibilities. I'm going to be playing around with some different rigs and see what I can come up with. In the meantime, if you want this iRig, I'm going to throw a link to it underneath this video. So if you're watching this on YouTube, there should be a link in the description that will go to my website. I'll make this available for download. And I feel like there was something else I was supposed to cover. Oh, yeah. I told you I'd do something cool for those of you who want to get into animation. Okay. Here's what I'll do. I will give away some memberships to animationtrainer.com. So you'll get training on how to use the Anime Studio software Plus, you get tons of free bonus files and stuff like that. And I think we'll even see if we can give away a copy of Anime Studio Pro version 9. And I do have some other copies of older versions. So we'll see what I can afford to do. But what I need from you is a little bit of participation and a little bit of help. So help me so that I can help you. Okay, guys, just leave a comment below in your comment on YouTube, make sure you tell me why you want to get into animation or why you want the Anime Studio 9 Pro version. And I'm going to pick the winners based on 
your participation. So best comment, you know, who shares it, stuff like that. I haven't really figured it out, but just make sure you leave a good comment and like the video if you like it. If you dislike it, you know, give it a thumbs down. I don't care, but let me know one way or the other. And oh, also then follow the link to Cartoon Learning. And what I'll do is I'll, I'll have a place on there where you can share on your Facebook wall so you can help me reach more people. And I appreciate that. Thanks for all your help, guys. Thanks for checking out the review. I know you're going to love the software. And see ya.